Okay, so that was part one, the color box making thing. Now we're moving on to the to-do list application. So your goal is to build something like this. Now it doesn't have to look like this. There's a lot of CSS involved, but it should be a to-do list with the following features. We can add a new to-do. I need to milk my cat. We add it, it shows up. I can delete it, but before I do that, I can also edit it in place. So I click a button. It doesn't have to be an icon. It can just say edit and a form appears instead of the to do. So maybe instead I need, I need to milk my dog, obviously, and I save and it's been updated. I can also delete things. And as a bonus, which is not necessarily part of the core features, I can check something off and not have it go away, just have it be completed in case I want to, I don't know, I like the satisfaction of seeing things being done. I can do that. And then I can also delete. So the styling is going to come all at the end in my solution. It's really not the point. There's nothing React specific about this styling. It's all just a bunch of CSS and fonts. And I'll talk about where it came from in the styling video, the last video of this section. Uh, most of this is inspired slash taken from a really nice code pen that I found. All right, so that's how it should work. Here are the specs if you want to you know, get more details on it. A lot of the stuff you write will be very similar to the color box maker. You'll have a form as its own component. It will pass data up to the smarter parent component that has most of the state. But the trickier thing is going to be this edit. So we type it to do editing it uh, in place. You're going to need to keep track of some additional state in this to do itself, which we haven't seen how to do. We need to toggle this on and off so that it shows and hides depending on some part of the state is editing or currently editing or something like that. So you may want to just try to do the basic to do list. And then once you get to edit, if you get stuck, you can watch the video I have on creating the edit stuff. All right, so give it a shot. And in the next video, we'll start from scratch and build the whole thing as always.